Hi guys, welcome back. Let's talk about one of the most complicated processes that you may be running into when purchasing your titanium frame or titanium bike and that is which finish should I get. And if you're new to titanium, you may not even know that there's more than one type of finish. So today I'm going to talk about all of the five different types of finishes that Linsky and Lightspeed have to offer, which should cover majority of the titanium manufacturers out there. And since this topic doesn't get talked about much, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen anybody done anything like this. So here's what to expect. I want to talk a little bit about how they're able to go from raw titanium tubes and turn them into certain types of finishes such as uh, matte satin finish, industrial mill, bright brush, and so on. I'm also going to talk about the benefits and disadvantages, a little bit about maintenance and some suggestions about which finish should you go with based on the types of brides that you do. Uh, let me take you back to Linsky website really quickly. I think that's a good place to start and then later I'll take the bikes outside, get some hands on and I'll demonstrate a couple of cool things with the, on the frames. Alright, so I'm on Linsky website and the reason I use Linsky is because it's I'm more familiar with their website and it's easier for me to navigate through things. So if you order this with a different company, the process should be very similar. So go all the way down to the bottom where it says uh, frame finishes. Click on that. It should take you to this page. I'm not going to go over this a lot because um, this should be self-explanatory. This is the standard decals that you get when you order your frame and then the rest of these are all upgrades. So you have different logos or this one is um, edge finish and um, this is the finish that I went with for both of my frames by the way. So all right, let's move on, go all the way down to the bottom. Here is where I want to focus on the most. So let's talk about the first one, which is satin finish. And unfortunately, I do not I do not own this frame personally. So uh, but so far, I've seen three or four of these frames up close in person. And if I have to compare this uh, satin finish to one of the office items or to one of the household items, it would be a MacBook Pro Space Gray or an iPad Space, space Gray any apple space gray color i did however reach out to linsky and talk to jordan and he was able to fill me in with some of the like the process again how they're able to go from raw titanium into this satin finish so i'm going to i'm going to paraphrase briefly and i'm no titanium expert so if i make any mistake please correct me in the comment that would be very helpful so let's talk about um, the satin finish. My understand is that they start with raw titanium tubes and they miter them, they weld them, that's how they get to a bicycle frame and that frame later gets sent into this uh, quality control or they inspect the frame just to make sure everything checks out and once again they send the frame to the bead blasting department and what bead blast does is that it turns this raw titanium tubings into a frame into a more like a, a darker texture like a matte black not black but more like a dull finish or dull look to it as you can see on the first picture here um, it is much darker than the standard um, titanium frame that you normally see mostly see so in other words your satin finish stops after sandblasting let's move on to the second finish which is the industrial mill finish. And what they do here is that after sandblasting, they use some sort of tool. What was that tool, the name of that tool? He didn't mention the name of the tool. But anyway, so they use some sort of brushing tool to brush this like a darker, this darker texture off of that satin finish. And that's how they get to this more like a brighter finish look. And when I say bright, I don't mean like glossy bright. This is still on the matte finish look. And another thing to point out is that let me zoom in here a little bit closer. So if you look at the, the brushing pattern here, it is very random. So there is no like directional. It's just all over the place, right? And that's how the industrial mill finish is. Um, I do think they exaggerated the picture a little bit just because they want to show you the difference between the brush, the third picture to the industrial mill finish. But in person, I mean, both of my frames, they don't look like that. I mean. Yeah, if I look really, really, really close, I'll see some of these in there. But uh, anyway, if you're worried about, well, this looks too scratched up. No, you, you don't have to worry about that. This is just how the industrial mill looks. The brush, in other words, the brushing pattern is very random. So uh, they did that for a reason. We'll talk about that later. 
Excuse the interruption on a couple of things. Once again, the frame on my R500 as well as the Pro 29, they are in industrial mill finished. Um, the seat post, however, it is in hand brushed finished. And on my light speed, the stem, it is also in hand brushed finish by Linsky as well. And the frame on the light speed is in bright brushed finish. Now, this is probably a really good time to take a look at what the polished finish would look like are these spaces right here. So if you were to order, if you are ordering your frame in polished finish, your whole frame would look like that. These spaces right here, once again, very shiny, very reflective. Moving on to the third brush. So what they do here is that this hand brush, this is one directional only. They call this an inline brush. If you look at it, it's very, it's very smooth, right? There's no random pattern. There's no scarf. There's no, I mean, everything is very smooth. Um, so that's the, the difference between hand brush and industrial mill finish. One more finish that they did not include the picture on here, which is the polished finish. And that thing cost like a thousand dollars extra. And they actually took that up. I didn't even bother asking why, but I'm assuming it's going to be super labor intensive. I call that a mirror finish. You can actually see yourself reflect from the frame. That's how shiny the frame is. And unless you plan on displaying that bike exclusively, otherwise I just think that frame is too nice to be riding. So that's the fourth finish. Let's talk about the fifth finish, which is the bright brush finish. And that's what I have on my light speed. And if we go back to the hand brushed finish on Linsky website, I want you to think of this in a glossier version of the finish. So that's what uh, light speed is known for. They're more on the glossier side of the finish and then Linsky is more on a matte finish side. So those are the differences. Now, I don't know how well the camera is picking all these up, but in here in the video, they are very alike. But outside in person, as I'm looking at them right now, they are noticeably different. The light speed is going to be a little uh, glossier and then Linsky is a little darker. Let's talk about some of the benefits and disadvantages on each of these finishes. I'll start with the satin finish, but once again, it is very difficult to talk about something that I don't own. But according to Linsky and from what I've seen in the past, I will try to break it down for you. So given titanium is a unique bicycle frame material already, adding the satin finish to it not only isolates itself from the rest of the brighter frames out there, but it also questions other titanium owners such as myself to go like, what is it? Is it steel? Is it aluminum? Is it titanium? Why is it darker than usual? So, I don't know, to a certain extent, it is very rare. And as I mentioned earlier, that I've only seen several of these finish in the past, I don't know, three, three years or so. Maybe I wasn't paying too much attention on it, or it is just that rare. So if someone wants to be different in a certain way, I look at it as an advantage. What are some of the downsides? Well, according to Linsky, this matte satin finish is easy to get dirty and very difficult to keep clean. I was told that customers constantly ask how to clean this frame, how to keep it clean. And you may be wondering how hard can it be to clean metal? We're not talking about washing the bike clean here. Uh, going back to the sandblasting process earlier, which gives this frame a darker texture on the outside. But when it is scratched, those scratches will be much more pronounced, much brighter. As a result, those scratches will be more visible. And when that happens, it is impossible to remove those scratches. And on top of that, I saw that finish last week when picking up my light speed from the shop. It was a customer's bike that was brought in for a rebuild or something, which has that satin finish. And this is minor issue to me, but the parts where cables are rubbing against the frame like head tube and down the down tube areas it's created this like a darker stain on frame. I don't know how to explain it, but if you were to apply like an old grease like a dark grease on the frame it looked like that uh, I also I should mention that Linsky did remove the matte satin finish from their options uh, their finish options because uh, they don't want to deal with phone calls about how to clean my frame kind of thing. All right, that's probably too much information on the satin finish, but other companies are still making this finish. So if that's what you really like, I say go for it because that's all that matters. All right, moving on to the industrial mill finish. One of the advantages is maintenance. It is very easy to take care of. Since this finish has a random brushing pattern, it really hides any light scarfs or light scratches that I may put on the frame. And it just 
blends in very nicely. Most of the time it is very difficult to even spot those smaller imperfections. And since we're on the topic of scratches, let's talk about maintenance and cleanup. What happens when the scratches are again too big to hide? Well, most of the time they can be brushed off with this scotch bright. I haven't done it, but I'm going to do it together with you for the first time when I take the bikes outside. Okay, disadvantage. I really try hard to look for the downside with this finish. I can't seem to find any. I'm, I'm being really, uh, really honest here. I was, however, going to say that the mill finish costs an additional $130 extra, but since Linsky removed the satin finish, they offer this industrial mill as a free of charge now. So again, I, I can't think of any downside right now, but if you have something in mind, let me know. What about the hand brushed finish? Well, let's talk about the advantage. Similar to the mill finish, the brush finish is easy to take care of given it is a one-tone finish. Uh, meaning it's not darker on the outside and bright on the inside. The frame will hide small scratches or scarves really well. And in extreme cases, you can always buff out those imperfections. Once again, I'll demonstrate what I meant when I go outside. Disadvantage, it is the cost. Personally, I'm going to be a little biased on this since I like the industrial mill. I like the random brushing pattern a lot. It just doesn't make any sense for me to go spend the extra money on the brushed finish. And the second downside, this is subjective, which has to do with my nitpick, but the hand brushed finish is almost too perfectly smooth for my taste. And that leads to one potential issue, which is the scratches are more visible compared to the mill finish. How much more visible? The difference is very marginal. If you're a normal human being, you shouldn't have to worry about that. I'll show you the scratches on my four year old light speed frame next. Moving forward to the bright brush finish, looking at my light speed similar to the hand brush finish that Linsky has in terms of the directional brushing pattern or the inline brush, it is noticeably shinier, the brightest out of the four finishes we've talked about so far. It is probably 60 to 70 percent of the titanium finish out there that I've seen in the past several years or so. So once again, given everything I described about the hand brush finish will apply to this bright brush here and more. The ease of maintenance, how easy it is to buff out the scratches. The finish itself is cheaper because it's standard. And the same thing for its disadvantages. The finish is a little too smooth for me. Any scratches that picks up will be more visible. All right, guys, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how I remove some of the scratches off of this frame here by using this scotch bright number 7447, also color coded. This is in maroon color. So before we get started, get your gloves on, your mask on, your goggles on. You don't want any titanium dust stuck on you or inside of you. This method works for industrial mill, hand brushed and bright brushed finish only. Do not do that to the matte satin finish. You'll brush off the satin finish texture and end up with random bright spots later and that's not good. All right, so here's the first victim. You want to go with the grain when you brush, which is horizontal on this head tube. You guys saw that, right? That's crazy. That took little to no effort at all. Let's do a few more spots. I got a couple more scratches, scarves down here, and obviously uh, two things. So the grain is going vertically now, and obviously when you do something like this, you always want to cover your decals, your edge graphics, your stickers, whatever. Otherwise, this thing is going to take your logos with it. This is not a tutorial video, so I'll keep it short. If you want more, go watch original Scott's video. 
he does a full detail on how to clean titanium frame and whatnot. I'll put his um, link in my description. I hope you saw what I just saw. That was that was crazy. I'm still surprised. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning of the question. Which finish should I get? Well, if I'm riding in the wet condition, in the mud, lots of dirt, um, chunky rocks, going through branches, and you know more often than not. In other words, if this was a mountain bike, I'd stay away from the satin finish. But if this is a road bike or a gravel bike, I think. I think it'd be fine. I would also get some clear plastic tape to kind of uh, protect certain spots also. Um, but then again, maybe you really like that, you know, it, it's all, that's all matters. Industrial meal, hand brushed and bright brushed are obviously the easiest ones to take care of on any bikes, especially the bright brushed finish after what I after what I've seen on my light speed. All right, I'll leave it right here. Hope this is helpful, interesting, entertaining. Any questions, comments, you know I'm always excited to read them. So keep them coming. See you guys in the next one. Have a safe ride.